All right, you're back with Arthur Moti and the Gracies, and we are doing a fellowship tour where we're actually visiting what they call a community garden. Yeah, look at this. And the purpose of this tour is the way things that might be changing, that we may have to be growing our own food. So I wanted to kind of check out my local community gardens here to see. Yeah. So it's a part of changes to come, as people can see here. You got a green thumb, Mano? Well, I got God's thumb. I yeah. got God's hand, so God has the green thumb. Yeah. God so, might have a green thumb, too, Uncle D. see here. So <laughs> this is we're seeing if we can kind of take a tour here. Right, John? All right. So this is what they call a... This is the community garden here. So this is here in Aurora, Colorado. So we're just taking a small tour and Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing today? Alright, you don't mind if we just take a tour through here? And Please do. Oh, um yeah. this is um one of my fellowships in Tennessee. They have a community garden in Tennessee. They were telling me to, to take a walk through ours here in Colorado. You guys in Tennessee, you've got some humidity. Ooh. Oh, that that we do. Real close to the Elvis uh, house, uh, Graceland. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he lived registered a few blocks from there. Yeah, oh yeah, Aww. could walk to Graceland. Wow. So, yeah, well, so this is just plain. So this is like where you, is it? From I hear, is it like free produce and whatnot? And well, it's what what we do is every. Everybody at the end of the, when the season starts, it's mm -hmm. going to start, I think, in mid-August. Mid okay. We have a pay-what-you-can stand, and then we weigh the, we weigh the produce. Okay. And then whoever gardens in here, you, you can, and, you know, there's a good handful, there's a good number of us who then donate a certain amount of our pot. Yeah. Our okay. Our produce. All right. You mind if I come through here? Sorry, I'm kind of still partially blind a little bit here, sure, so yeah. just kind of walking through. But I have a, a YouTube channel that I and uh, that way when I send it to Tennessee, so they can see that I visited. Oh, and good. they were talking with me yesterday. In fact, they looked it up in Tennessee for me to say, "Well, you're in Colorado, so you should have a community uh -huh. garden at your place yeah. here." So sure, yeah. Yeah. And we have an orchard, so we mm -hmm. just put in an orchard last year. That's along the back. Okay. Uh, you see the black tank that. You know, because we're water-wise here in Colorado, so okay. the tank takes the water, and that's some passive water that we have. You see the beehive? Mm -hmm. We host, um, so if you guys walk around, don't go too close, because we host bees that are not feeling well. Okay. And so we try and nurse them back to health. Mm. And then, the, so then the orchard goes along there, mm -hmm. and then we have a raspberry patch there. Mm -hmm. We have leaf mulch. We have... Um, a compost area okay and then we have uh two things that are kind of special the lady amanda mm -hmm. uh Slover, who is our garden leader okay she participates in the big giant pumpkins mm. Mm. so last year for the i think we won the award for our it was 42 pounds anyway and, Whoa. Okay. and it was carl so now we call this guy carl jr because he jr. was a seed from there wow. and then oh. another lady who teaches Mm -hmm. This is her, uh, and I took her class, this is her mushroom Let's growing see. area. Oh, she's got it covered. She, yes, because, okay. oh. you know, the sun is so intense oh, here. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then over there, right in the corner, you'll see she has another one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because we were talking yesterday, they were talking about how they're growing okra. And the whole purpose of what we were talking about, how things are changing, that man needs to be growing their own food oh, again yes. and the way it's going that that may be what god has planned for people man to go back to natural groceries yeah, plus it's just better for you right you're healthier right yeah and i'm just this is my uh this is Teresa's garden and mm -hmm. and she just so we grow a lot of cover cover crops here over oh. the winter. Mm -hmm. So this little purple flower that's kind of dead now, that's a vetch. Yeah. Okay. And that's I'm harvesting. She gave me permission to harvest okay. from hers. But look at her tomato that she's growing this year. It this little spiky vine. Mm -hmm. and, oh. 
you see the spikes on the vine. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we're very multicultural here. Really? We have Hispanic, Taiwanese, um, uh, South American, mm -hmm. African. We have all different people's right. gardening here. Wow. So it's fun because we get to see what they're growing right. and, mm -hmm. right. you know. Okay. Well, you guys enjoy the gardens. I'm going to be here for about another 10 minutes. So, okay. And then I have to lock it up. But Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're not going to be here too long. We were just kind of doing here. briefing. Yeah. We're just being briefly, and I want to, because I want to send my video to them so they can see it. The other in okay. Tennessee, so they can see that we visit it and stuff like that. Because she's growing, because my and she's growing even from her house. Wow. And it's beautiful. Like, she's doing strawberries, and so she keeps me a form on that and everything and yeah. since my whole journey with heaven and father has been a year where I, I had lost my sight first yeah. and when they did all the testing they found out you know they said oh you had suffered a massive stroke and stroke behind it and so but god has been so blessing to i had no side i have no side effects from that whatsoever yeah and so yeah. i'm just drinking more closely to god's nature and doing yeah. things so that way they can see that because I was we were talking about it yesterday. So it's like you should when you do your next fellowship, at least go through check out one of your community gardens and yes. stuff. So and this is called just so you know, this is called the gnome, N O M E mm -hmm. community gardens. That's why you see all the little gnomes. And one of the ladies who gardens here, she made all of these for all of our gardens. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you don't mind if I had this on video, have you on video with it? Are you okay with that? I want yes, to make sure. Absolutely. I don't want to invade anybody's yeah. privacy, but just to see that and just to just to kind of look through it because like I said, it's it's coming where changes are gonna be coming where man has to go back to nature. Yeah, well we're here. We're here already in this garden. Mm. So just so it's on the video, mm -hmm. the garden leader is Amanda Salover. Okay. And this is the gnome community oh. garden. Gnome community, and that's what we looked at yesterday. I looked it up yesterday. Yeah. Thank you so much thank for coming you. by. Thank you so much. Are there any more located here? I know this is in Aurora, and I think there's another one on. Well, wasn't too sure. I just. There's some that are close, and if you Google search mm -hmm. uh, Aurora Community Gardens, they will come up on a map. Okay. Okay. Okay, and I saw that yesterday, so thank you. And I just got to be careful so I, since I'm still partially blind. I got to watch the bees, make yeah, sure I don't yeah. get, get attacked here. I just so. saw the biggest ever. This. Uh, this big that big bumblebee really oh, i know i tried to get i tried to get my phone out to take a picture oh, no. of it oh, it was gone oh, it didn't want to be full. oh but you can see they're really big this it, year it there's didn't a, want to be full. there's a bump uh, but this but this bee i saw was huge well thanks guys well Have thank you thank so much you. for your We're time glad to be here yes let's finish sure. the tour Mama. okay let's do a quick Just tour one walk quick around. walk over here okay and then we'll head thank back you. out thank you yeah so you guys hear it from arthur moti and we are checking out the garden because eventually this is where man we're going back to yeah. nature with god so whatever's to come we want to be prepared okay and, and then like she said this is healthy and all natural and i'm into that god's all about natural food and right and right to the earth and since so this is a part of this what i'm doing is, is a part of god's walk so we're doing a real nature walk. We're doing it for God, and, though. And, and tell us the nature. name of this park again, Mano. She said it's gnome. And gnome you know why they call thing. it gnome park? Because there's gnomes all over. Mmm. Look at that. Well, that's a frog there. Oh, okay. and a gnome. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And here, here comes up one on the light, Mano. Get, okay. get this one here. Right, right down right here. here. Okay. Yeah. Wow. No, that's she said not to get too close to the bumblebees, guys. Right. Oh well, we won't go. We won't go since I'm partially, you know, I don't want to get stung. Wow. I can't really see. So, Looking but I wanted to kind of show a little bit of the garden. Look how and, beautiful this is here. Right. That's well, well manicured, well manicured. Hey, as we do the community walk with the Gracies. We're all over the place. Right. God be the glory. God, so be, God the glory. be the glory. Stay lifted in the faith. Hey. Of, you know what? Plant it for God as well. Yeah. So that's it. Look at that. You've heard it from Arthur Moti, Uncle E, and Uncle D. Yeah, beautiful day. Yes. But see, this is where we'll come, and once they start sprouting stuff, they can come through. We can check another ones later too. Yeah. But I want to at least get get my foot 
wet here to kind of walk through things and kind of see it. So, you heard it from Arthur Moti, Uncle E, and, and Uncle, Uncle D. D. Yeah, how about that? Amen. Amen. Peace, peace to this place. Amen. Amen.